cord to this computer. All right, and welcome to another fabulous episode of The Riff. Um, two sides of my former life are now meeting, my science side and my other science side. So I love it. <laughs> All right, and today's theme on The Riff is going to be I Need a Drink. So I'm going to pull up the picker for us in a second. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yes. The Wheel of Random Things. So I asked a group of people uh, about beverages that they um, have when they need a drink uh, and also things that cause them to need a drink. Birth announcements was kind of surprising, but I guess it's celebratory. Uh, when I came up with the theme of I need a drink, things have happened in the last, what is it, five years now? Has it been five years since all this started happening? I can't, I can't remember. About that, yeah. I do. Yeah. It, and it's, counting. Been, it's been so long. <laughs> it, it, it's, a long decade this last year has yeah, been. A long decade been last year. So, so very, very long. Yeah. There she takes oh, oh my Reagan. And there's my drink. Uh, <laughs> started. All right. <laughs> the wall of alcohol continues to grow. Well, oh, I, I have an entire wall of alcohol right here. The alcohol. Yes, the alcohol. All right, Andy, are you ready to yes. go first? Not, not particularly, but let's do it anyway. <laughs> one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Mm. Barrel. All right. Your choice no. is barrel. All right, Andy, whenever you're ready. All right. All right. So when I think of barrels, I guess the first thing that comes to mind is Donkey Kong. Uh, because he has that part of the um, those old days where the graphics were just like really, really, not even barely 2D. It was Donkey Kong and like Mario, but not like actual Mario, like Mario's cousin that Mario and Luigi don't talk about, just trying to save this girl from this giant gorilla. And this giant gorilla is just throwing barrels down from these ladders on top of Mario, of a little Mario light or new Mario, as they would say. So basically, I think it's kind of an odd combination of like, where are they? Will they have all these barrels? And why is it this, why is this gorilla so intent on keeping this girl for himself? Is he just like has this desire of like trying to be like this minor league King Kong or something? But anyway, I guess also another thing that when I think about barrels, I think about uh, The Hobbit because there is a scene in The Hobbit where the dwarves, they try to get away by hiding in barrels and floating down the river. Uh, uh, the Hobbit, or as I, or, and I know people remember those movies, uh, The Hobbit, uh, The Hobbit 2, AKA uh, Orlando Bloom Needs a New House, um, because it just felt like in that movie, Orlando Bloom was just thrown in here and they just they made him be do so much stuff. I mean, Legolas might have been in the there in the book. You never know. But it's also it's just sort of the fact that Orlando Bloom is just here for a paycheck because Pirates of the Caribbean petered out, so they kind of have him over the barrel at that point. So when I think about also when I think about barrels, I guess also I just think about these giant old wooden casks that contain these things and. People are like thinking about why do we have to keep putting them in these wooden casks? Couldn't we come up with something that's a little bit more efficient and isn't cutting down a tree as opposed to putting this in a wooden barrel? Couldn't we put it in like a wood substitute of some kind and then we wouldn't have to worry about cutting up a tree? But if we're like saying, oh, it's a more fresher, it contains the flavor. I don't want the flavor of splinters when I'm if I'm drinking something. I want to just drink it. Just put it into like a glass bottle or a glass container of some sort and a non-wood substance so we can save some trees while also enjoying getting drunk off our asses. So I guess that's really all I got. 
I guess I'll just barrel on through and just call it a stop. And that's my time. Thank you very much. All right, Andy, Andy, Andy. All right, I'm just going to say that if it weren't for barrels, this deliciousness that I have here on my wall mm -hmm. would not be quite as delicious. Yes. Roll out the barrel. But, but it does, it does, it does bump up against my need to protect the environment. Yeah. It does bump up against that. I will tell you this though. I have learned that those barrels and casks, some companies will buy the old ones and use them for other things like Tabasco sauce. I've mm -hmm. learned is actually aged in old whiskey barrels. So I do yeah. with, uh, maple syrup too now. Yeah, yeah. Eh, hey, don't you know? <laughs> you bet. You betcha. Oh, you betcha. betcha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, and then I do know that there are some people that do enjoy barrel furniture. And mm -hmm. if it has a whiskey scent to it, all the better. All the better. Yeah. Awesome job. Thank you, Drink. Andy. You're welcome. What's up, Nate? Drink recommendation. Jameson Caskmates is uh, in old oak barrels, right? Uh, yeah, is that in there? Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's in uh, Guinness barrels, actually. Okay. Um, so, Excellent, yeah. excellent. See? It Whiskey in better. beer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But Guinness, Guinness isn't like your regular type of beer. It's not like your regular type of beer. It's a meal. It's a meal. Yes. And anybody that's watching this, please understand we are not alcoholics. No. We're just connoisseurs. Yes. We're just connoisseurs. <laughs> Nate, you ready to go up next? Please. All right, mm -hmm. Nate. Let's see what the wheel of topics has for you today. Earth announcements. Have fun, Tim. <laughs> All right, Nate. Enjoy, my friend. Enjoy. Okie doke. Uh, so, birth announcements. I get it. Uh, birth announcements are not gender reveal parties. Birth announcements have started no fires that I know of. Uh, so that would not particularly cause me to need a drink. Um, I get why birth announcements could potentially cause people to need a drink. Uh, depends on your exposure to children. Depends on your degrees removed from the person giving birth. Uh, depend Because, I mean, like... If you're a if you're a parent and your other parent is giving birth and that makes you need a drink, um, that may say something about the strength of your relationship. That said, uh, a relationship is that which any of the people involved say it is. So again, that's not for me to judge. Um, I personally have never felt compelled to drink after hearing that someone gave birth. Um, I may have inadvertently done so as hydration is important. Um, I, I also think I saw that birth announcements had an exclamation point on it. So presumably that particular person that selected that category was excited and they wanted to have a drink after hearing that someone was born um, or gave birth. So I guess uh, you can drink or not drink as you feel you need to. However, chemical dependency is a real thing and to please everyone <laughs> drink responsibly whether or not you have given birth 
will give birth or know someone that will ever give birth. Um, cheers, happy life. Very good, very good. All right, Nate, thank you, thank you. I think that it is interesting that the person that is actually passing this human being cannot have a drink. I get everybody it. Everybody else around can have a drink. Maybe do some. Ah, maybe soak her up to the, hook somebody up to the IV. You know, like in, like inject some Jameson right in there or something. What do you think? <laughs> Sneak some in at the last minute. The kid's already coming yeah. out. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I, I do know that uh, France, they have some very specific rules, don't they? Uh, is it about champagne? I think champagne can only be considered champagne if it's along a very specific longitudinal lodge, lodge, line or something like that. That makes it, sense. It, it, it's, it's or it's near Urbana. Yeah. Hmm. It, it, it's the, yes, Urbana <laughs> champagne, but spelled differently. Spelled differently. Yes. Yes. There's something also about um, there's something similar, like maybe that maybe I just heard this on the West Wing one time. If you call it uh, if you call it bourbon, it has to come from Kentucky. Otherwise, it's called right. sour mash. Right. Or like it, it, this is the difference between whiskey, bourbon, scotch. Even though they're kind of similar, like and, tentacles and arms. Yes, and so speaking of barrel aged <laughs> beers, I, oh yeah, I I have by. a very very well curated uh, shelf of alcohol here. I'm very proud of this, and I curated this because I planned on throwing parties in my new home. And then, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh. And then, oh, baby. you know, a lot of our plans uh, last in you know, the last year have not come to fruition, Regan. So, yeah. nope, it hurt. It hurt a lot. <laughs> but at right. least you now have a lot of wine, and you got a lot of alcohol now. Uh, I I do, but that may not be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Especially considering what's been happening the last, it, it's only been a week, hasn't it? Yeah, well, it's been, it's almost two weeks now of into 2021, yes. No, I'm talking about the event that we oh, should Oh, yeah, it's mentioned. been, yeah, it was a, That was a week. Edition Fest 2021. Yeah. Um, Remember uh, when we were excited when we were hearing people doing the whole rushing of Area 51? We right. thought that that was right. We thought, we thought that was going to be funny, you know. Serious, yeah. Cruel and tragic, right. and so so stupid. Yeah, I would, uh, rather, I would rather have people running around doing this. Not doing. I can't do it on the deal. I can't really show it on here. But running like this, doing that whole bit, and seeing some idiot running around with like a with like a moose on his head or something, you know. <sighs> that, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, all right. So last one. Let's see what we get for this last one. <laughs> That's awesome. That's Excuse awesome. Me. We're just going to rip on different drinks. Uh, yeah. Andy, Andy spoke it into the world, and so apparently I get peppermint schnapps. Oh. All right. <laughs> it works when you mute your, you muted yourself right as you were saying something. <laughs> oh, my, my computer. Sorry. So you oh. spoke it out that you didn't want Tim to get peppermint schnapps, and this guy got peppermint schnapps. So, all right. I try to face him. All right, five minutes of the clock, peppermint schnapps. I remember the first time I ever heard about schnapps was, of course, in college. That's when you hear about most alcoholic beverages. Um, and the first time I heard about schnapps was actually peach schnapps. 
uh, that seemed to be the thing that a lot of um, the women that I hung out with would drink is that they would drink peach schnapps. And it wasn't until later that someone told me about peppermint schnapps. And I, I, I've never been a fan of peppermint at all. Um, I, I don't find it uh, tasty in any way. So it never really truly made sense to me why people would have peppermint schnapps until I became much older. And I discovered that you can always put peppermint schnapps into your hot chocolate and turn it into a delicious, delicious treat that also freshens your breath. So not only do you smell like delicious chocolate, but you also have minty fresh breath for everyone around you to enjoy. Uh, it is uh, something that uh, you have to be careful of when you go to a holiday party at work. I remember uh, my, not my most recent holiday party, but my most memorable holiday party was with a non-for-profit. And what I've discovered is that non-for-profits, because they cannot pay you a lot of money, they will go big on the holiday party. So for this holiday party, they took us to a very nice restaurant and it was a uh, open bar. And they sent this guy right next to the open bar. So I didn't have to get up and go to the bar. I just simply had to turn around and go, I'll take another. So because I could not gauge how intoxicated I was by doing the walk, you know, the walk where you're like walking from, and if you stumble just a little bit, you're like, okay, maybe I've had too much. Because I did not do that and I was sitting, I actually wound up drinking a little bit more than I should have, uh, but not too much where I embarrassed myself. So, because it was during the daytime, that's the other thing about not-for-profits, they do their parties during the day instead of at night. It's a little bit cheaper for them during the day. And so I also had to take the city bus uh, here in Chicago. And if you've ever had to travel on the city bus, while it may be beneficial to be a public transport drunk, you don't want to be on public transport drunk, especially if you're going by yourself. You always want to do it in pairs or, or large groups. Uh, so when I arrived home, at this time I was still living with my mom because I had just come back from Peace Corps and I walk into the house and I'm like, I'm home, woo! And my mother is like, what is going on? I'm like, I had five drinks. I'm gonna see you later, Patrice, good night. And then I just walked away. So. My mom is like, what is happening? And now the drink was not peppermint schnapps. The drink um, was actually ginger ale and I want to say rum. I think it was ginger ale and rum. Uh, that sounds like it might be that. Ginger ale and rum or ginger ale and whiskey. And uh, yeah, so after that... Uh, the last Christmas party that I went to, oh my goodness. So they gave us, again, it's, 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 it is and is not a non for profit. It was a cultural institution. And so they gave us a band, a wristband. And on that wristband, you had to take off your tickets and they gave us five. And I, I knew I could not drink all five. I had like two and then I took the band off and I'm walking out to go home because I have to drive. So I have to make sure that I'm not getting intoxicated. And the first person I said, as I saw, I looked at their arms, saw that they had a band. I said, you're over 21, here you go. And wound up giving this one poor intern something like, an extra three drink tickets. So she ended her night with eight drink tickets. So I think I gave that person a very Merry Christmas 
right before 2020 came and, um, well, brought us closer, yet six feet apart. And that's my time. Thank you. <laughs> Good stuff. Nutella schnapps? I didn't know they had Nutella schnapps. I think that, no, that was the question is I, I don't know if it, it's an idea. Oh, okay. That would be interesting, Nutella schnapps. I would Great. totally try that. Yes, I, I would try the crap out of that. I didn't think I would like Nutella, but it's actually not, not too bad. It's delicious. A <laughs> former coworker just suggested something on Facebook the other day, and it has blown my mind, and I can't wait to try it. Um, you can put Nutella in oatmeal. Oh, okay. I've done that. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Where have I been? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can do uh, it in Nutella in your oatmeal. Yeah. You you can do it in your overnight oats. I like to do overnight oats. So yeah, you just put that Nutella in there with your oats and your <laughs> dairy or non dairy product, and then I sound like the oldest person. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, haven't, I don't know if I've ever had this. I've had so this excited I can't really about time. oatmeal. <laughs> we're, we're all like, oh yeah, we can do it in our oatmeal. <laughs> yes. It's never, it's never too hey, remember to have a good fiber to your diet. Yeah. Oh. Reagan, yes. uh, on any of your other uh, Christmas parties, did you ever see somebody like at the museum wearing a table? Oh, yes, we did have. Uh, <laughs> uh, was it the same staff. one? I don't know. It was the catering staff. Uh, she was dressed as a princess, but her hoop skirt was a table with the appetizers around it. I have noticed that. All right, Nate, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye, Nate. Enjoy your Peace. oatmeal. Bye. I have noticed that that non for profit or. Um, I would say like museums or something like that. They they do go a little bit out for for their Christmas parties, and I do appreciate that. I just I guess it was just one of those moments where it just seemed kind of weird at that point. Oh, you're heading out too, Tim. Uh yeah. yeah the, the, the we one is hungry. Yep. Yeah. All right, Tim. Them. Thanks so much. Bye, Tim. Bye, bye. Nice yeah. meeting you. Yeah. See you later, Megan. Bye. Bye, Tim. Nice meeting you. Yeah, so I think this is going to be one of our short riffs for us today. Yes, yes, it's a short one. But congratulations on on uh, the new addition to the family. Yeah, uh, it is very beautiful. Uh, yes, and uh, family is great. Yes, family is great, and I'm thinking that for next week. Next week, I'm thinking of the theme: light it up. Okay, yes. I like the sound of that. That yes. can go in a lot of directions. Many directions. <laughs> right. Many, many directions. All right, Andy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank and, you for uh, inviting me again. Yes, and uh, this should be up in actually about two days uh, because uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit uh, extra with the uh, video editing. Right. Yeah. All right. Thank you again. And I will see you soon, sir. Be safe. Be well. Be awesome. All right. Night, night. <laughs>